Hello and welcome, it's Emma here from First in Architecture. Today we're going to be talking about how to calculate slopes and gradients. As an architect uh, you'll need to know how to calculate slopes and gradients for different situations, the most common being uh, when you're working out some sort of rent access to a building, groundworks maybe, landscaping, car parks and things like that. So. The first thing we look at when we're working out um, ramps for our designs um, is the regulations. So um, we look at the approved document part K and part M of the building regulations where they specify the limits for ramp gradients um, for access to a building. Part K looks at the ramps that form part of the building while part M looks at ramps that form an accessible entrance or an access route to a building. If the access is too steep, it's not deemed to be safe access and therefore it kind of creates a difficulty for people in wheelchairs or people that have walking difficulties um, who may not have the strength to propel themselves up a slope or may have difficulty slowing down when descending a slope. Um, so that is why these are in place. Um, so you can see here these tables just give quite a clear outline of what we're looking at um, and we'll use these and we'll have these in mind when we go through the examples shortly. Without further ado, let's move on. Um, you can use all of the following methods to calculate a gradient of a slope that you need to design, or you can use these methods to calculate existing gradients. Um, so it's quite useful, you just switch them around and use the appropriate formula um, for the figure you are trying to work out. So first things first, how to work out the gradient. So here we have our slope. We know that the run is 10 meters and we know that the rise of this slope is 500 millimeters. Gradient is equal to the run divided by the rise. So in this case the gradient is equal to 10 meters divided by 500 millimeters. Now we need to correct our units so we are looking at 10,000 millimeters over 500 millimeters. This comes to 20 so we know that the gradient is 1 in 20. Next we're going to look at how to work out the rise of a ramp. So here we have our slope again. In this instance we're wanting to work out the rise. So we know the run is 5 metres and we know the gradient is 1 in 15. We know rise is equal to run over gradient. So the rise will be equal to 5 metres divided by the gradient. When we convert the units, we then know that that is 5,000 millimetres divided by 15. So that equals the rise as 333 millimetres. Simple as that. Next, we're going to look at how to work out the run of a ramp. So in this instance, we're wanting to work out the run of this ramp. So we know that the gradient is 1 in 12, and we know that the rise of this ramp is 166 millimetres. So run is equal to gradient times the rise. So our gradient is 12, and we need to times that by 166, which is our rise. This comes out at 1,992 millimetres, which we convert back to metres as 1.99, or we'll round that up to 2 metres. Finally, we're going to look at how to work out the slope percentage of a ramp or gradient. Finally, we are going to work out the slope percentage in this particular case. We know that we have a 500 millimetre rise and we know we have a 10 metre run. So the slope percentage is equal to the rise divided by the run times 100. So in this case, we are going to have a rise of 500 divided by 10,000 times 100. And this comes out at 5, which is 5%. So we know our slope gradient is 5%. So if you head over to First in Architecture, you can download this as a guide. It's a PDF. Um, you can keep it for your reference and then easily access it when you need to carry out these um, formulas. Just follow the link in the description and it will take you straight there. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.